Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for oh, around the 16th, but the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we got? What do we got for a message today? What do we have for a message today? All is not as it seems. Somebody is hiding something. They're hiding their feelings. And I say that because I see the moon. So there's, you know, I'm not sure if we're dealing with Pisces or Cancer, but it doesn't have to be. But anyhow, somebody is hiding their feelings. They are. When you see the moon card or the moon right away, it's be careful. Somebody is not telling the truth. Okay? They're blocking their emotions in some way. They may be in fantasy land. They may be unclear about a situation. The moon is ruled by the shadow, which, you know, all is not as it seems. What you see is not what you get. Right? So what do we got? What do we have for our message today? There's hidden forces. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is about uh, disappointment, saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye. You notice the moon? Pretty amazing, huh? So, yeah, somebody is saying goodbye to something. They may have been pretending to be happy. You notice there's an ace of cups up there. It's like, I want love. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for, for emotional support. I'm looking for, you know, more love. I'm looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. So somebody has been in a state of confusion. They have been perhaps in fantasy land because what comes before the Eight of Cups is the Seven of Cups. Somebody may have made a poor choice. They may be suffering some of the consequences for making that poor choice. There is an opportunity for love over here, but it may be a challenge to get that love. Okay, so because the mountains, the mountains are representing that challenge. So we do have somebody here that is facing a challenge. They are facing a challenge because they have to leave something else behind that is not making them happy. It's not easy because usually when you have to leave somebody behind, there's, you know, somebody's going to get hurt. So somebody may be getting hurt. Um, definitely somebody made a poor choice, may have, uh, got themselves involved with somebody, um, prematurely. Okay. Uh, may have looked good for a minute or they they just uh, weren't being very careful now they got to leave it behind so somebody is leaving something behind there it's like they're ready to face this challenge because they know that there's a big opportunity for love so yeah somebody is walking away from something that is fake okay it's fake it's not making them happy it's superficial um, they've been avoiding this for a while because it was going to be such a challenge. It's a challenge in more aspects than one because leaving something behind, usually somebody gets hurt. Now there's an obstacle to be overcome. Okay. So now you gotta, you gotta climb that, that, that mountain, which isn't going to be easy. But once you get over that peak, that love is right there. So somebody is facing a very hard challenge by the looks of things. Um, strength, finding the strength and the confidence and the courage to act with integrity as well and let go of fear. So somebody is going to be letting go of their fear. There's definitely something beautiful uh, over there, something very, very beautiful, something they are very attracted to. Um, mastering of emotions here. You have somebody here that is finding the courage. They're finding the cur courage within themselves. Somebody has is becoming stronger or something like that. Fearless. Fearless. Judgment. They're ready. Are you ready to be judged? Somebody may want another chance. Or they may be, re may be ready to be judged. We have somebody here that may be feeling guilty. They may be feeling ashamed. They want to move on from that bad choice. They know that they made a bad choice, but they were unaware of it at the time that it presented themselves. This is also a card of ego. Somebody may have let their ego get in the way of happiness by the looks of things. Um, but now somebody is finding their strength. Something may be coming back around 
okay, with that infinity sign and this eight of cups. And this is some, some, something, somebody may be coming back around. Maybe they're, they want to ask for forgiveness or something like that. Maybe they're going to be asking for forgiveness because that just judgment card is a card of forgiveness. Maybe somebody was unaware. They were completely unaware of another person's beauty or something like that. Cause this is very beautiful energy and this is unawareness, lack of awareness. Somebody wasn't answering the higher call. They haven't been, um, they didn't make the right judgment call. Somebody has not made the right judgment call. They've been juggling, going back and forth as to what they want to do. Perhaps their their ship is sailing away. You notice the ship is, is, is sailing away while this person is sitting around playing games. So somebody's been playing a game juggling life, juggling everything, trying to find balance, playing games, seriously, not opening their eyes, definitely lack of awareness here, okay, you notice this guy's got his eyes closed, all right, he's been playing games, meanwhile, the ship is sailing, the ship is sailing away, so this guy, somebody's been playing games, juggling, uh, trying to find balance, having a lot of ups and downs, experiencing a lot of ups and downs. Somebody hasn't been listening to any advice, refusing to take any advice. Ooh, we have the Empress reversed. The Empress reversed is, uh, well, let's just get another card and go with that to see what's, what's Oh, it went a flying. Ooh, seven of cups. It's way over here. Seven of cups. Upright. So, Empress reversed. She has multiple choices. I was just clarifying that card. So, she does have multiple choices. That's the truth. So, she does. She does. There's just multiple options here. Unclear. Unclear of what the choice should be. This Empress in reversed. She may have been undervalued. It looks as though she was she was undervalued. There's definitely a choice here. There's a choice between two. And this is a, something to do with it with a, a feminine, okay? This is a feminine who uh <laughs> Oh, she may be jealous. She may be a jealous person. She may be possessive, okay? She may be possessive. She uh she has multiple options. Absent mother. We have an absent mother here. This, the, the Empress in reverse is a, is a woman that doesn't know her value. She is. But it is connected to this card. So this is somebody who has found their strength. Somebody who has become stronger. But this is, this is lack of value. So this is a woman that doesn't know her value. I don't know. She doesn't know her value for some reason. She's made some poor choices probably. Anyhow, this is... Uh, confused very very confused so we have a feminine that is very confused she doesn't know what she wants she has a couple of choices she may have a lot of choices we have two choices here and we got seven choices over here so we have we definitely she, somebody has multiple choices um, hmm King of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody who's not doesn't put in effort. This is somebody that is lazy. Um, spending makes poor decisions, poor financial decisions. Could be very controlling. This guy isn't very giving. 
maybe more focused on his uh, money, his job, his business, um, do things. Oh, this is lazy. This guy is lazy. Exploring options. We, we have somebody here that may be exploring their options. This feminine may be exploring her options because, you know, maybe she's dealing with somebody who's not putting in a lot of effort. This guy's not putting in effort. He's lazy. He's not really giving her anything solid. He's not really giving her a commitment. Something's coming to a halt. Somebody it may get upset. Okay, this could be an emotional outburst. There could be an emotional outburst here. We have this connection. The devil is a connection. Obviously, these two people are tied to each other. They have some sort of bond. It could be a sexual connection. There could be an obsession. We could have somebody here that is obsessed. And their 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 ship is sailing. Their ship is sailing away. Their eyes have been closed. They've been unaware of a woman's value. Well, son of a bitch, take a look at that. This is something coming to a halt. Coming to a complete halt and somebody getting angry. Very angry. So somebody is getting angry. There's an emotional outburst ahead. There's a lack of direction. Oh, emotions are all over the place. Somebody's emotions are all over the place. And it's because it's like they've been, this is a player. We got a player here. Somebody's been playing games with this, this woman. This woman didn't know her value, but it feels like she's gotten strong because they're connected. So it feels like there's somebody, you know, has gotten stronger. Let's go back to that Empress right there and reversed. Putting in effort, working hard. Somebody is, is going to, uh, or needing to, put in effort. This is somebody that is bound or tied to somebody they need if they if they don't want to lose the opportunity, they need to put in effort. So this is somebody that is going to put in effort. This person is very skilled. They haven't been doing their what they're supposed to be doing. Maybe it's because of ego. They have to make a choice. Somebody has to make a choice. There's some sort of uh connection here. This is also a card that is ruled by the shadow, so all is not as it seems. Something is coming to a stop, or it has come to a stop. This guy has been playing the games. He was unaware, didn't make the right judgment call, or hasn't made the right judgment call. Now she's exploring her options. Ooh, Ace of Cups is an offer of love coming. Somebody is coming with an offer of love. Definitely. Somebody is, is coming with an offer of love. This is a new start in love. Affection. Somebody's going to be expressing how they feel. They're making a choice that they have been going back and forth with. They've been going back and forth. It's been an emotional. They've been... Uh, I don't know, maybe they sabotaged, they sabotaged a relationship because of their ego. Because there's, this is ego, and this is, there's ego here, and this is ego, there's ego here. There's ego, so I don't know if we're dealing with a Capricorn, but we could be. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Um... But we do have a feminine here who is, she may be overly emotional or she may be very, well, she could be self-absorbed. I mean, I just got to be honest with you. She may be self-absorbed. She may be uh, 
obviously she's waiting for somebody to love her, right? She is. She may be very needy. But we do have hard work here. Hard work leads to love. So there's an opportunity for love. And this could even be new love. There even could be, I'm not sure what this is, but there could be a reconciliation because this could be a reconciliation and this could be a reconciliation. So there could be a rec reconciliation here if somebody finds the strength and the courage to put in effort and stop playing games and open their heart and, and make this offer so this is this is love okay there's an opportunity for love for a new star but the choice has to be made the choice has to be made you can't can't we have somebody here that's been very confused very confused hmm there could be a new suitor here but good news is coming good and it is somebody from the past it's somebody that you have known before. And whether this is past life or not, I mean, this could be past life, and this could be a past life connection. There is a new star in love. This is very good news. So good news is coming. Good news is arriving. There's an offer, an invite. Somebody is going to be invited somewhere. Things have been stagnant or stalled or had come to a complete stop. But somebody feels some sort of deep connection and there is a, there's a new beginning here. There is. It's like where there's a will, there's a way with this card. This is like, I can do it. I can do it. I can prove myself. Somebody may get that uh, desire, okay? Because this, this is definitely a desire. This one is too. So somebody may get that desire to you know, prove themselves and, and make some sort of offer. There's a loving offer that is coming in. This person's been very stubborn, and the Empress in reverse is very stubborn as well. Very stubborn, stubborn, stubborn people here. So we have some stubbornness. But there's a there's a deep attraction. There's a strong attraction. There's, you know, a sexual attraction. There is... There definitely is a sexual attraction here between these two people. But somebody has been definitely playing games and they've been thinking, going back and forth as to whether they want to, you know, put in effort or not. This this Empress in Reverse is somebody who is exploring her options uh, because she's looking for love. She is looking for love. And this guy is not committing. He's not committing, okay? He's not offering anything solid. But there is an offer coming in. And it's somebody that you are... This could be a soulmate connection. Okay? Somebody that you know. There's two. I don't really want to take two. I just want to clarify that. Ace of Cups. And that. There's, a, there's definitely some good news that is arriving with that Page of Wands. This person is very well suited. These two people are well suited for each other. Somebody's about to face their fears because there's there's fearless energy here. And here, here, here there's been some sort of fear. But now we have some sort of fearless, like overcoming fear. So somebody is saying goodbye to a sad situation and they're ready to face the challenge because there is big love. And they know it. So I think we we have somebody here that is finding their strength to overcome their fears and, you know, stop playing games before the ship is out of sight. Because whoever they're dealing with, it's like they know this person has other options. Whew. Knight of Wands reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed is reckless energy. Somebody that is forceful, somebody that has a bad reputation, chip on their shoulder. There's somebody that has a chip on their shoulder here. May have a bad reputation. Somebody may have a bad reputation. They may have a bad reputation for, you know, making poor choices. Somebody's definitely made some poor choices here. Now there's a loss, a big loss. 
So somebody is, is losing something. They're losing a golden opportunity because they're not putting in effort. And if they want it, they better take it before it's gone. Because this person who may have been undervalued is probably going to get an offer of love. Somebody's uh, stupidity is going to cause them to have a big loss. So, uh, there's another suitor here. This is a suitor. This is, this is, this is another suitor. So this is, uh, somebody that is well suited coming into the picture that is going to put in effort. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's treasure. Good luck.